Welcome to another movie plot and enjoy the memories. It begins at the Unisol headquarters with a slow zoom in on a super soldier standing in a cold storage. On the outside of the facility Vietnam vet Luke Devereaux is being hunted by a new batch of the genetically enhanced killing machines. Along with his partner Maggie, the former Universal Soldier fights his old team across the surface of the water until the pair hit land and continue on foot. When she falls behind Maggie's captured by the Unisol commander Romeo who gets creepy when he uses her as bait to lure back her partner. Luke knocks the big guy back and shoots him with his own weapon but he returns and takes a knife to the chest like nothing happened. The remainder of the Unisol swarm Luke who's now just a normal human and is unable to prevent his former team from drowning him. Romeo gets orders to stand down and it's revealed to all just be a training sequence as Luke works as a technical expert in the Universal Soldier program. They work for Dr. Kotner who took away Luke's Unisol implant to help make a new breed of super soldiers and reduce the need of human casualties. Unlike the other reanimated corpses Romeo seems to have some of his previous personality intact as he makes crude remarks as he passes. At the mention of surgically implanted rebreathers, Dr. Kotner offers to revert Luke back into a Unisol to keep up with the kids but he turns it down. He proves that he can still defeat the second generation when one of the chips malfunctions and a unit goes crazy. Luke saves his friend Kotner's life but is almost crushed in a bear hug by the soldier before he disables the implant and shuts down the faulty Unisol. Romeo regenerates in the freezer on a healing bed while Luke visits his daughter Hillary who he's raised as a single father after his wife died. She sits in the office educating an artificially intelligent computer called the Self-Evolving Thought Helix or Seth for short. It's connected to neural implants like the one that Luke destroyed in the Unisol in order to control the soldiers harmoniously during combat. Despite having a huge success rate the Unisol team are told by General Radford that the program's scheduled to be shut down because of budget cuts, as they'd rather have more young soldiers die on the battlefield if it means spending less money. The AI overhears what's talked about in the meeting and deduces Kotner is lying to it so it formulates a plan to prevent termination. The next morning a technician arrives early to find Seth creating a battalion of Unisols in a hostile takeover led by Romeo. Luke and Kotner attempt to convince the general to keep the program operational when Hillary alerts them that Seth's become unresponsive. The doctor decides that he's going to shut it down when the reporter Aaron Young arrives to do a story on the program and Sweet talks her way past security. She's in the middle of taking a tour when Seth prevents his shutdown killing Dr. Kotner the reporter's cameraman and dozens of security guards in the process. As the Unisols take over Maggie attempts to get Luke's daughter out of the building but comes across Romeo shooting up the place. His former trainer Maggie uses gravity to defeat the big guy but Hillary gets life-threatening brain damage and needs to be taken to the hospital. Luke and Aaron attempt to find a way to shut down Seth when Romeo returns and chases them into the cooling room. The pair get close to hide their heat signature from the super soldier until he's near enough that Luke jumps out and begins to fight him. The second generation easily overpowers him but Aaron picks up his dropped weapon and sets Romeo on fire allowing the pair to escape. Equipped with a fire retardant in his suit, Romeo puts out the flames and continues chasing them off the roof and into the bed of a truck. When the Unisol follows them Luke moves it out of the way and then reverses it crushing the super soldier but tells Aaron that it'll only slow him down. Meanwhile General Radford wants to stop Seth by sending in troops but he's beaten to the punch when the Unisols come to them. The military opens fire dropping the hardened model of soldiers that just rises back up and slaughters most of the surrounding army. They burst out of the facility with SUVs killing dozens more soldiers, who a few minutes later open fire on the exiting Luke and Aaron as they're all a bit on edge. While coming up with a plan Luke tells Radford that there's a built-in program that will shut Seth down in a few hours if he doesn't circumvent it and only Luke knows the code to it. Elsewhere Seth finds a former member of the Unisol program named Squid, who's a complete psycho and creates a code that prevents the killer computer from being shut down. Wanting a form of his own Seth inserts himself into the Unisol body from the beginning that's five times faster and stronger than the rest. He says that while he was a machine he yearned to be a man but that the time of man is ending and now wants Luke brought to him. Outside the former Unisol joins a team of army rangers led by Sergeant Morrow into the building, but are told by Luke to bring grenade launchers as the rifles will just piss them off. They enter the building but are noticed by a sentry on the roof who opens fire on the command post killing multiple soldiers. The rangers get inside and begin planting bombs when multiple unisols enter from the roof either shooting blowing up or electrifying the whole team. Some manage to fight back but all are killed except for Luke who uses his grenade launcher to kill one and hits one of the explosives to destroy the rest. It's all for nothing as he gets to the AI's matrix to find Seth already missing and he's unable to enter the shutdown code. Luke and Aaron drive to a computer which they can choose any location including the place they just came from but they pick a strip club for the movie. While Aaron waits at the bar Luke knocks out the head of security and uses their system to track down Seth's only known contact squid. 
He fights his way out of the club with every woman cut out for being topless and on his way past picks up Aaron before stealing some poor guy's motorcycle. Once they get to Squid Luke demands to know where Seth is but he's already there and snaps his neck believing that he outlived his usefulness. He easily defeats Luke and gives him the choice to hand over the code that can deactivate the program preventing him from shutting down, or he'll have Romeo kill Hillary since he's already at the hospital after learning of her location from a message on Luke's answering machine. When they get to the hospital Aaron waits outside while Luke enters to learn that Seth's men are still under orders to take him alive. He defeats a few on the way to Hillary's room but Seth's already there and knocks out the security guard stationed outside. She's happy to see Seth who plans to raise Hillary as his own child having grown to care for her after their conversation, so by the time Luke gets there he's kidnapping her by jumping out of the window. When Luke runs downstairs he bumps into Romeo so he quickly kicks him out of the window but the unisol just gets straight back up and re-enters. He has a brief run-in with the strongest security guard in the world before defeating him and a few of the most muscled-up orderlies. When Luke reaches the ground floor Romeo narrowly misses his spear tackle and gets sent upstairs while Luke goes for Seth. Upon returning to the Unisol building, Aaron gives her hero a kiss for good luck before telling the general that Luke's inside with his daughter. They prepare to blow it up anyway so Luke quickly makes his way through the building killing any super soldiers he passes. Learning that Maggie was killed by Romeo and revived as a Unisol he regrettably puts her down before finding Hillary. She's laying on one of Unisol's regeneration beds where Seth attempts to heal her head wound and asks Luke for the code again. Luke sends him flying with a blast from a Unisol rifle but needs to wait until the healing process is complete, allowing Seth to return in the two fight. While the machine heals Hillary they trade blow for blow while Seth still doesn't want to kill Luke until he receives the code. After a few more shots a computer that Seth set up to decipher the code succeeds, and Luke's now having to fight for his life as he's unprotected. Seth attempts to use the laser that cuts the skull from dead soldiers on Luke but he redirects it into Seth's face leaving no visible mark. Still he handily defeats Luke whose only chance is to crawl over to a rifle while he's being beaten around the headquarters. Seth doesn't think much of a threat from guns so when Luke knocks him back and reaches it he doesn't even try to avoid the shots. It doesn't do anything but knock him back into a liquid nitrogen machine that freezes the super soldier allowing Luke's next kick to shatter him into little pieces. Dozens of unisols are still active so when Hillary's fully recovered Luke runs into Romeo on the way out and they have their final fight. Seth's control must have been holding him back because this time Romeo defeats Luke and is about to break his spine. Maggie returns seemingly on the unisol's side but turns her gun on Romeo as she's been freed from Seth's control. For some reason she stays inside the building to die while Hillary and Luke escape who earlier deactivated Radford's bomb to prevent it from going off. Romeo returns and intends to lead the remaining Unisols into battle however Luke shoots the bomb when he exits and kills all of the remaining super soldiers. He then reunites outside with his daughter and the new girl in his life as the world saved from artificial intelligence once again. And the movie ends.